We just put in the piece called Stairs on the corner of uh, Bishopsgate and um, there were two young men speaking to each other about it and a girl came along and started to look at the piece and they interacted with her. <laughs> Isn't that a wonderful thing? People have stopped and they're talking to each other and they're just being part of the community and I'm sure they came from offices. Art should be out in the real world, should be encountered on a day-to-day -day basis. I think my responsibility as an artist is to, through the work, to engage with people. So there are certain works that people notice when they've gone. Every time I come here, there seems to be a new one. They really want to know why and why couldn't it stay. And it's interesting to sort of see that those those works are the ones that have really generated a strong emotional bond with people. Well, I love them. I think it's really good to promote, you know, art in the city. I, I like the idea that in this context, people will not come like they would to a, a museum. They won't come to look specifically at art. They'll probably be going about their daily life, their working process. They'll be moving down this passageway and they'll glance at these. They might give it several looks. Who knows? They might stop for a moment and look at it. I just was thinking that's a great piece of art, you know. Also, its interaction with the public is, is quite exciting to see. It, it's about being human. Uh, through the things you can get a new view on the world. It's very interesting. <laughs> and, and actually encouraging people to look up and to know where they are and to experience where they are and to be present in that moment, which is so significant. Open City run our education programme for us, which is a really important part of the overall project. This year we've worked with eight schools in total and over 240 school children. We're very keen that children who come from just outside the city, really the borders of the city, the local authorities, just around us. We want the children to come into the square mile and not think it's closed to them. You know, there is an idea that, oh, that's just for city business. Well, yes, there is a lot of city business. And maybe one day they can aspire to come and work in one of these fantastic buildings. Why shouldn't they? Our sponsors are all local businesses. So even though they might have a national or international profile, the kind of contribution they're making is actually about making change and making a difference very locally. And at the moment the, the public spaces are that, that little bit fractured because you've got some that have been done and renewed and others that are under construction and others that are yet to happen. So the artwork is the one thing that's really helping to gel the, the public spaces together. I think it's a wonderful idea. You think that people come into the square mile thinking, and it's obviously quite true in so many cases, they think all it is is office blocks and people going off to their offices and they work very long hours and they run out to get a sandwich at lunchtime. And I think we've got to capture that moment that people come out onto the street and they can see something they can interact with, something that stops them thinking about what they do for a living and makes them think about something else. And it's had a tremendous effect. Uh, I think it's a wonderful thing. We should get more people doing it.